guys this is Deepika from mytutorialrack.com in this tutorial we will talk about lightning component framework now what is this lightning component framework frame this is a framework of which you build your mobile and desktop application now what is a framework framework is nothing that you build off of it's a frame and you can you can build off of that frame now this particular framework comes with a lot of some out of the box features just like you have salesforce application it comes with some standard objects Similarly, this framework also comes with a lot of out-of-the-box components. Now, it's a framework which is used to build single-page applications. Now, why to use this lightning component? The One of the best usage is because it is provides you a lot of out-of-the-box uh, components. means you don't have to build everything from scratch. You can use these components and you can build your application faster. It is also an event-driven architecture. Now, what is this event-driven? Event-driven means a browser, any browser like Mozilla or Firefox, etc., or Chrome, they keep track of what events have happened. Okay, the user has clicked on a button, or the user is scrolling, or the user has clicked on a left click. Or you, so basically, browser keep tracks of these events. And this event-driven architecture, you can you can write your handlers, or what you like. You can say that okay, whenever the user clicks, uh, call this function. So that is what the event driven architecture is. So you can and that is very powerful. You can customize to whatever extent you want. This is this particular framework is also very performance efficient. Now, open source Aura framework. Now, why we are talking about lightning framework. Now, what is this Aura framework? So this lightning framework is built off of this open source Aura framework. What is open source? Open source means something which is available for free. You can download, anyone can download. So this lightning component is built off of this Aura framework and when you are writing your application, you will see that we are using this Aura keyword a lot. So this Aura framework enables you to build the app completely independent of the data in Salesforce. So you can just build the apps using this Aura framework. Components. The lightning application is made up of small, different, independent, self-contained components. Now, to understand what components are, let me give you an example. Uh, you Let's say we talk about a Toyota car manufacturing company. Now, Toyota does not build each and every component of the car from engine to seats or to the, the body, etc. They don't build it of their own. They basically have different companies who gives you these these different components. Let's say there is a company who give built engines. There is a company who built the body of the car. There is a company who built the seats, etc. So what this Toyota does it it basically assembles all these components and deliver it. That's why it is able to deliver everything quickly. If if Toyota is building everything from the scratch, you will take a year to build those cars. The why Toyota can be able to deliver so fast because they they take different different components and they put together and then they deliver it so that's easier so similarly this lightning component the framework is also built on the same terminology so they the, any lightning application is made up of these small small components and these small components are a self-contained and reusable units of an app so you can use this component anywhere so the same engine can be used in a different car also so that's how that's how this component frameworks work. So you have small, small components and those reusable components can be used to make a different application. That's why these application can be delivered a faster way. So now let me give you a small example to illustrate this whole lightning application and this lightning component. So to write down, you go back here to your Salesforce account and you go to this developer console. In this developer console, you go ahead and create your first lightning component. To create first lightning component, you go to the file, click on new, and then go to this lightning component. Now, you can name it as whatever you want. Let's say I call it as hello world. This is my component. Remember the name, hello world I've used, and hit the submit button. Now, see, you will see there are two files gotten. One is hello world, and this is the one with the .cmp extension. That means it's a component. Now here I can use in this particular um, this particular file you can use HTML tag. So you know there is an HTML called h1 which is nothing but it's the uh, header tag which is uh, so if I wanted to display something I can say like hello lightning or you can say hello lightning Deepika and uh, I can say something like 
So this is what I have built a simple component. Now let's say these I can build multiple components here. Let's say I build go ahead and build another component and I call it as uh, uh, hello world 2 let's say and I go ahead and hit the submit button and here I say h1 my tutorial rack and then I say thank you so let's say these are the two components I have built now what I will do is I will use these two components in my application so what I will do is I will go ahead and create a new application and I call it as um, hello application and in this hello application I can use these two components so how to use them so you can use this C this is like a standard namespace if you have to create your own namespace namespace is basically let's say any tags that come from my tutorial rack I wanted to start them with my tutorial rack so that's a namespace so you there's a standard namespace that you can use with the C let's say I wanted to say hello world so you go ahead and use the stack C hello world so what is this hello world this hello world is nothing but it will display this thing now what is this now you can use another component here so you have two components one is hello world component and there is another component called hello world 2 so if I wanted to use that component as well in my application I just need to use hello world and call it as 2 now 2 why this hello world because the name of the application is hello world so you need to if you wanted to use that component you need to name that you need to use the file name so here you have this one now let's say I want to run this so you there is a preview button here go ahead and click on this preview button and it will take you and you can see that uh, so it requires this particular lightning components require my domain and uh, we have already created my domain let's see if there is an issue here so if you go back here refresh it sometimes we need to do an additional step here so this is my domain is ready for testing and uh, you click here to log in let's say I go ahead and click here to log in because that gave us an error that's why and here we'll say deploy to the user so I'm going to go ahead and hit this button called deploy to the users now once this is done I'm ready to go so now what I'm going to do is I'll go back here and refresh my page so see here it says hello lightning Deepika, my tutorial rack and thank you because this is the whole application hello that app is my application which is nothing but it is built off of these two components one is hello world and this is hello world 2 in the hello world I say hello light, lightning the pecan that's what we're saying so here that's what it display the first line is this one hello lightning the pecan because that's the first component it is calling the second one that I'm using is this one hello world 2 dot component which nothing but displays my tutorial rack thank you so this is how this is how a lightning application is built off of in the lightning application you're using two different components and this particular component can be used in another application so let's say if I go ahead and I create another lightning application I can use this component in that application as well so that's why they call it as the reusable component so I have created another application and in this application let's say I just wanted to use the hello world here so you can go ahead and click on hello world so this is the this is how you close the tag if it's a single uh, text tag so you can go ahead and close it so now if I wanted to run see this one so this will only display hello lightning Deepika because in this particular application I'm only using one tag or one component so this is how you create a simple lightning component and a simple lightning application I hope you're enjoying it thank you so much guys